Hey everybody, it's Will from Holdfast Marine, your local boat shop. About a year ago, we did a video showing how to spray gel coat with a cheap spray gun. Well, that video was filled with all kinds of other stuff that didn't necessarily apply to that process. So, I'm doing a video right now for you guys that is all about that gun and how to spray. That's coming up in... Three, two, one. I hope you enjoyed that little intro. It's very nostalgic uh, for me. I thought it was pretty cool. I wanted to do something to yeah, give you guys a good vibe about the nostalgia of our youths. Did you say youths? The purpose of this video is to talk about this. A cheapo, cheapo spray gun. I bought this on Amazon, the link right here in the description, and I'll put a bumper somewhere here uh, telling you what kind this is in case you don't want to follow that link. Yeah, so I kind of want to break this down uh, with you guys as if it were new. I get it's old, but I want to show you what you have to do to get this to work to spray gel coat. First things first, when you buy this cup gun, it's not going to come with any of this stuff down, but what you're going to have to do, and this is very important, is you're going to have to remove the, uh, the cup immediately. And inside is going to be this filter. Um, this actually goes down inside the receiving part of the paint. Okay. And if you don't remove that, what's going to happen is your gel coat, which is a very thick uh, material, is not going to pass through those little screens. So this has got to go. This particular gun has a 2.5 nozzle. This is what it came with. This is what I ordered it as with the 2.5 nozzle. And what that means is that it has a, a larger uh, hole and a larger needle to get more uh, material out. If you have one of these old crap uh, cup guns laying around, you can buy the, the nozzle. It's important to note here that I have a separate regulator on here as well as a Nico oil and water separator. The air compressor that I use is not very good. It's not a high quality air compressor. So I want to make sure that I have at least a secondary air water separator. The purpose of the regulator is so that I have fine control at the gun where I don't have to run back to the compressor to dial it up or dial it back. I want to be able to control it right here. So whatever my compressor is set at, which is probably 120, 150, um, I can uh, adjust that here. These are very simple to adjust. You pull the thing out, you turn it in and out, and you lock it back down and everything is good to go. Welcome back to this awesome 80s episode of spraying gel coat with a cheap cup gun. Second half of the video is sponsored by Pit Viper. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. I wish, but it's not. It's day two. The shop is pretty much how I left it the other day because I took quite a few days off from the shop to enjoy myself. We've got some MEKP and we've got some Total Boat gel coat without wax. The reason that I'm using the gel coat without wax is that I can control it a little bit more. It won't kick off as fast as the gel coat with the wax. Okie dokie, smoky pokies. I've got my four ounces of gel coat here all mixed up. You must be prepared before you start spraying. I have a dump cup here. I have some xylene here to take the gun apart, put all the stuff in there. And then I have some surface prep here to start washing the cup and the gun out uh, so that it doesn't set and become disgusting. I have this crappy old piece of MDO here. Ha, <laughs> crappy old MDO. And that's what we're gonna spray. All right, I have uh, mixed up the gel coat. I'm gonna pour it into the cup gun. I'm also not wearing a mask. Just remember that I'm putting my health at risk for your entertainment. All right, here we go. So the first thing you wanna do is get the, the any juice that's in there out. See that? That's all the xylene. And then we're just gonna do one quick little you see how speckly that is, right? We need more gel coat to come out. So I'm gonna loosen up this knob and we're gonna try it a little bit down here. See, it's still a little spattery. So I'm gonna open the nozzle up a little more. Hit it up here. 
See how speckly that is? So I'm gonna turn down my thumb control a little bit, narrow the fan, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna turn up the PSI. On up to about 50 PSI now. That's so much better. Can you see that? That's the good one. All right, so here we go. Let's spray this guy. notice my eye or not but while I was cleaning that gun out I got xylene in my eye so yay let us for a moment talk about what we sprayed uh, thusly now it is not perfectly flat it is definitely got some low and high spots which is why I always recommend you put on a couple of coats of the gel coat without wax and then do a finish coat of the gel coat with wax, get some buildup so that you can sand without sanding through. I've got, I've got the, my filming light, well, one of them behind me to kind of try and cast a shadow. It's gonna be really, 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 this, pay no attention to that, that's from my glove. But if you can see, yeah, there's little tiny things in here from the air that we're in. Little pieces of dust or crap that blew up off the floor. It's acceptable for your own projects. This would not fly for a customer's project at my shop. There is no plywood bleeding through. This is a good heavy coat. It's already starting to tack a little tiny bit. Once this has a, a good heavy layer, either sprayed or rolled or tipped of the finishing gel coat, no problem to sand this down to a mere finish. I think this is a fascinating place to end this video because my eye is killing me. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. I'll do the best that I can to answer them. Thank you all so much for watching. It was a painful episode. Guys, girls, everybody else, if you've watched this far, you know I'm going to say it. I'll see you next time. Butterfly in the sky, I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, a reading rainbow.